welcome back or if you are new to my channel this is Grace and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video. In today's video I will be going through some easy tips and tricks or hairstyles that you can do to your hair. Um, by the way, heads up, I'm not good at hair so these are definitely manageable to do on your own. So I've had several requests and questions on how I do my curls whenever I, you know, wear curls. So I thought this was a good opportunity to show you guys how I do that. Um, not only is this a good opportunity to show you guys, but it's also going to make it a lot easier to style my hair for the other hairstyles I'm going to be showing you, just because it gives it volume and texture. So when I'm curling my hair, I usually part my hair into two pieces. I pull up from the end of my eyebrows and part that hair, put it in a little bun on the top of my head, and then I'll just like loosely curl the bottom half and then I'll take my hair out and curl the top half. So just a few things that I keep in mind while I'm curling my hair. Um, I really try to make it loose. Like I really do not want my curls to be tight and like ringlet looking. Like we really try to stay away from that. So um, I loosely wrap it around and then I like motion the wand up and down sorta if that makes any sense. And honestly that's just trying to again get the loose curl. Don't want ringlets. No. Keep those away. So when I'm finally like done curling, I'll do some touch up. I'll take some pieces from like the top of my head and just do like a more tight curl. Um, this just overall makes the hair look more full and like bouncy or something. I don't know why I said that. Okay. Then comes the time to just run your hands through your hair. This just makes your hair look way more full. Make sure to split the curls apart. Overall, this looks way better in my opinion. Just, you know, it's like the final touch. So definitely make sure to do this, to do not forget. Now to the first hairstyle. So you're just gonna need two little clips. They look like this, I don't really know what they're called. And then you're gonna pull back pieces from the crown of your head on each side and then clip them with the clips. This frames your face so well and makes you look so good. It's so cute. And honestly, as you can see, it really can't get much easier. For the next hairstyle, you're going to need to have a headband. Separate the pieces um, from the crown of your head on each side again, and then slide the headband on, and then mess with the hair to just, you know, add all the final touches. This is just a really simple way to add to the hair with just a simple accessory. This next hairstyle is absolutely one of my favorites, and it's so simple and easy. So you're just going to want to part your hair down the middle, split it into two sections, and then ponytail each side. Then you're just going to want to add the final touches, so just pull out the baby hairs to frame the face and kind of loosen the pigtails as a whole just to make it look more messy and natural. This look, to me at least, gives off a super beachy wave feel, which really puts me in a good mood. For the next hairstyle, you're going to want to keep the same part that you had in the last hairstyle, and then you're, instead of just putting pigtails in, you're going to do mini buns. Also, make sure when you're doing this to put your hands over your head and not to the side of your head when you're making the buns, because it just overall, it just, it'll work better for you. Then just pull a few baby hairs to frame the face, and that's it. Next, we're going to keep, again, the same part, but instead of pigtailing or bunning the hair, we are going to braid the hair. Just a simple braid, trust me, I can't do anything else. For all my 
hairstyles, I'm really trying to go for the messy natural look. So then I pancake the braids just again to make them look more messy. Um, this is just by pulling the braids out. And honestly, like the more pancake, the better. So make sure to do that. And then I just pull out baby hairs again and that's it. Okay, and so for this next hairstyle, you're just going to low pony the hair, just, you know, wrap it with a hair tie. And then um, you're going to need a hair scarf. I have this one from Target. It's just a gingham one. Um, so then you're going to tie a knot with the hair scarf around the hair tie. So, you know, just like wrap it twice. Um, this just adds a really cute look. Also, you can use a bandana if you don't have a hair scarf. Just a little FYI there. Pull some baby hairs and then you're set to go. Okay, so for this next hairstyle, all you're going to need is a rubber band. Just take some hair from the outside edges of your eyebrows and just like pull it up, you know. And then just rubber band it and you're honestly, that's all you have to do. This looks so cute and I definitely recommend. Um, also, if you want to add a little accessory, I tried here. Um, obviously, it did not go well. As you can see, this bow um, really sucks. So I tried, that's all that counts. But I mean, if you want to add something to it, you can try that. Um, um, I'm really sorry you have to see that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And again, these are really easy because I can't do hair, so no hate, thank you. Seriously guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you guys' support. It really means the world to me. So, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.